All right, guys, are you ready to go from zero to 60 with your OBS video production setup? Let's dig into it. I'm gonna build it from scratch so you don't miss a step. So let's get started. I'm starting out with a completely new setup. So let me just show you what we're gonna build before we get into it. So we've got our base, this is just a camera. We've got a scene with a ticker. We've got a scene with the chat room. We've got a split screen. And then we've got a really cool little presentation layout as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit a new scene collection. So this is what you're going to want to do when you want to have a completely new scene collection. Um, it's kind of like a preset. So let's call this uh, zero to 60 setup. Hoping this is going to take less than 15 minutes. And I'm going to show you how to build all the, the Photoshop stuff. So first of all, I am going to rename this scene as my base scene. I like to just call it, you know, this is my base scene. Okay, so my base scene is gonna have a camera in it. I am bringing in an NDI camera. You may be bringing in a webcam. It's totally up to you. Look how many NDI sources I have on my network. Let's see here, I'm just gonna pull in, I'd like a front facing camera. There we go, all right, cool. So I'm gonna just change the name of this camera to my front camera. And I am gonna show my ceiling camera as well. Uh, you can have as many cameras as you want in OBS. But my base scene is just gonna be this front scene. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click the base scene and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna call this scene uh, base, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it ticker. Scene with ticker. I wanna show some extra information in this scene. So it's completely duplicated. I don't need my ceiling camera in this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Photoshop really quickly. So in Photoshop, I have, I have to make this a little smaller here so we can see it. There we go. I wanted to just make sure I include a little bit of Photoshop so that you guys could have an idea of how to build this yourself. But essentially, what I've done here, and Photoshop via the cloud is only like $9.99 a, a month. So even if you have to just get this program just for a little bit, just to build this stuff out, it's totally worth it. We're going to choose 1920 by 1080, right? An HD 16 by 9 setup. I've already done that. And essentially what I did was I just created a little square uh, at the bottom and I just literally painted it black. So boom. Create a new layer, paint it black. I don't want to spend, I'm not going to spend, I'm really going to breeze through the, the Photoshop portions of this because I just want you guys to know kind of how it works. And then I put an accent color. So I got, I got my layer and I got just a little accent bar and that's it. And then I save that as a PNG file. Now I've already done this, so I don't have to go through that, but you go ahead and save it as a PNG because you want it to be transparent. And you can see here, I've actually got that file right there. So we've got the file and I got one more file, which is going to make se more sense in just a second. I have a mask file, which is going to be kind of cool. And this is using a, got my logo there. And by the way, all of these files are going to be available for downloads. So you can just stick your logo in there, change the accent color, change the logo. And the reason why I have this here is because I want to have kind of coming into the, the, the text so that it kind of looks like it's kind of fading off and on. It'll make more sense in just a second, but let's go ahead and add those pieces of media. So we're going to add an image and we'll call this ticker background. All right. And the image file, if we go to our OBS course files, which you guys are going to have all of that available, we're going to go to ticker and ticker background with green accent. Boom. It fits right on there because we used a 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 size. So that's, that's what our canvas is. So it fits perfectly on there. Now we're going to add one more image, which is ticker top. Now you could just, just use that back, but I want to show you something just a little bit more fancy. Ticker mask, layer, boom. Now we've got a layer on top, which is more of a mask. So if I, if I hide the ticker bottom, you can see through it, but we're going to have the text go inside there. So let's go ahead and, and enter text and we'll call this the ticker text. All right. Now I'm just going to say OBS course zero to 60 
how it works tutorial. All right. So I'm going to copy and paste that a couple times because I want to have, you know, a, a ticker with a bunch of information in there. All right. Now we can select the color. It's already white. So that's good. We can actually select whatever font we want. And I'm going to choose a different font than Arial. It should give us the access to all the fonts. I have a ton of them. I really like Bayboss. And I also like not Bellow. Bayboss, where are you? There you are. Boop, boop. There we go, Bay Boss. And we can choose our size. We'll stick with that. Click OK. And then that font there is a little too small. So I'm going to make it just a little bigger by dragging out that arrow in the corner. OK. So now we've got our text, right? But we still need it to scroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click. And I'm going to click the little filters button there. OK. So filters is generally the, the, the way that you can add additional effects to your text and different things. So come on filters. Sorry about that. My screen didn't want to show it properly. Here we go. All right. So when we get to filters, there will be a little plus button in the corner and we're going to hit that plus button and we're going to hit the effect scroll. Now we can basically choose a speed. We want it to scroll horizontally. We don't want it to go too fast. So I'm going to go down to maybe five. That's a little too slow. And you'll see the text is on top. So I'm just going to drag it down one. And now it's in there. Need to go a little faster on that scroll. So let me just right click. Filters. I'm going to go 10. Not bad, right? That's pretty good. The uh, the font now that I'm thinking about it is just a little too too big. So I'm going to change the font too, and we're going to get moving. So to change the font, I'm just going to double click and select font. Let's try something a little bit more easier to read. That's not bad, right? So there is our ticker. So we've created one scene with a ticker. Now let's create a second scene and I want to show you another really cool scene that I want to do. Of course, I'm going to copy my base scene, duplicate it. And now I'm going to show you video with chat. Now I'm going to go ahead. And so you can see here, we've got the ceiling camera. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to save that for a presentation in a moment. Um, let's go to Photoshop really quickly. I'm going to show you what I created here. So this down a hair, 75. Let's go to 50. Is basically, again, a 1920 by 1080 space. I have space for, this is going to overlay on top of my live video. So my live video is going to fit right behind this. I can put anything I want here. I can, I just have a little tutorial thing. And then this, I'm actually going to put the chat room. So I'm actually going to put the chat room there. So when you're live streaming, people you're talking to, it's a great little uh, way to, to kind of engage the chat room and show people what you have there. So I'm going to go ahead and add another image. So you can see that, you know, uh, working with Photoshop to build this out, and especially since I'm going to give you all these files and the actual photo files and everything, it's going to really make it look good. Now you can see here that uh, it's kind of cutting me off. So I'm going to click that front camera and I'm going to drag this pin. So generally when you, when you pick up a, when you, when you select a source, there's a pin that you can kind of move it around. Now, once I move it to the place that I want it at, and that looks pretty good right there, I can lock it so that now it can't be moved. And that's always a good, a good thing to do. Just, just use that little lock button there. If I wanted to hide it really quickly, I can hit the hide button just to see, you know, what, what it's doing. Um, and then I can always lock it as well. So lock it once it's in the place. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to YouTube and we're going to grab our chat room. And this is actually really easy to do. So we just go right into our creator studio and we just go right over to live streaming. And we go to our live event. Oh, here it is right here. And then right here on this side, there is the chat room. So we can go right over this chat room and click the cog and we can pop out the chat. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's see here. Where is this? 
Let me just get just a little smaller. There we go. And all right, we're gonna right click this, click the pop out chat. Now when we pop the chat out, we're just gonna copy and paste that link. That's all we gotta do. Once we copy and paste that link, we can add this as a, where are we here? Browser input, live chat room. All right, we just paste the URL directly into there and we choose the size that we want it to be displayed in. Now I already know that the width is probably gonna be something around like 550 and the height maybe like 850. Hopefully that will look good. So we go ahead and pop that in and boom, we've got our live chat room right there. So that is again, we've got, now we've got our chat room, we've got our scene with our ticker, we've got our base scene, and but we're not done yet. I wanna show you two more. So one more, I wanna show you the, uh, and bef I was just about to add a scene by clicking that plus button, but instead I'm gonna duplicate this scene because that saves everything with it. And I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna call this the stylish presentation. Okay, cool. Now this is gonna take your PowerPoints to the next level times 10. And what we're gonna do is again, pull in another image and we're gonna call this the PowerPoint image. And this, again, this image is going to be available to you uh, with uh, the course. I'm gonna put all the course files on it, but let me just search for PowerPoint. And I have a couple different uh, layouts. So sometimes I have three guests, sometimes I have two guests, a lot of times, Tess and I, uh, my co-host, will do something like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to make the ceiling camera my presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit this into the presentation square. There we go. Now this ceiling camera is upside down, which is not a big deal because, let's see, there's my book there. I'm just gonna flip it. So we're gonna go right click, properties, or sorry, that's in, um, that is in filters. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the bottom of the filters. I gotta pop this over to the screen real quickly and make it smaller. There we go, all right. Now we're gonna go to effect, and we are going to go to, this should be it right here. Crop it, do that. I think it's this one. It's, if it's not this one, it's, the ne it's this one here. Scaling and aspect ratio. We should be able to flip it. Is the flipping done over here? Oh, okay, so we do actually have to flip it this way. All right, there we go. And if we, there we go. Sorry about that. I thought that was in the filters. So now we flipped it. And so now I've got my presentation here. So you could obviously do a screen capture, um, but I like to sometimes actually just show physical things and I can zoom in on this as well and kind of show it in more detail. But there is my presentation. And then this camera here is going to be me. So this is one way to have a presentation where, you know, and this is set up for two people because generally I'll have a second person, but you know, so this, this bubble below could be another camera. Uh, you could remove that bubble, uh, but that shows you how to do a really cool presentation. And I got one more for you. How much time have we gone through, Mike? 14 minutes. All right, we got we to gotta wrap it up. I got one more for you guys, which is the side-by-side, -side, the split screen. All right, set up a split screen. Oh, you know what? I did it, and I forgot to duplicate my base scene. That's why I like to keep that base scene there, especially if you, you know that you're going to be using that setup. So split screen. A little over 15 minutes. I wanted to keep it at 15. All right, get rid of our ceiling camera that's there. Now I have another template. I'll show it to you in Photoshop really quickly. This is the split screen template. And just split the screen in half, put some information in there, save it as a PNG file. So it's already done. Um, all of this stuff I think is gonna be really helpful uh, when you get these files, especially the Photoshop files. 
So this is a split screen image. And let's go to browse and let's go to our OBS setup here. Go to split screen. And here's our split screen right here. So you can see it's covering me up a little bit. So all I gotta do is drag myself over. And now I've got a nice split screen as well. So you can do split screens. You can do scenes with a nice ticker. You can do scenes with video chat. You can do uh, scenes that include a nice stylus presentation where you're presenting something either on a table or you're presenting something, uh, you know, whether it's a PowerPoint. Let's add some flair to it. So that was kind of zero to 60, guys. What do you think? I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, that gets you kind of up and running with some really fun stuff. Now we really got to look at getting your audio and video in sync. That is the number one issue that I know so many of you guys have out there. So we're going to fix that. Then we're going to go over all of your streaming and recording settings and make sure that you have a good understanding of how to use this really powerful software called OBS. See you guys in the next video.